Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com, checking in with another Machine Masters exclusive tutorial. Uh, I'm going to take this tutorial straight from the MachineMasters.com forum, uh, where we ask you to put anything you want to see a tutorial on. This comes from our user, Stewie, and the question is, can anyone help me slash show me how to route battery force cells individually into the machine 2.0 mixer so I can add effects and such into each sound individually? Is it even possible? Uh, to answer your question, Stewie, yes, it is possible, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first off, you know, we're going to obviously open up machine and we're going to open up an instance of battery. I'm going to open up a drum kit. Uh, let's just go with this Due West kit. All right, now battery, just like any other plugin, when you load it up, even though it has multiple samples in it, it's a plugin and it's only going to be on one pad. So right now I've got it in loaded in pad one. And bam, when I hit pad one, that's what you hear. But battery is very much like machine where it has direct outputs. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to output individual sounds to go out into machine's mixer. And then on machine's mixer, uh, those sounds will correspond with your pad numbers. In addition to that, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make each of your pads trigger battery, which is in the first pad. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pad two. I'm going to come over here to the channel tab. I'm going to click on output. Click on MIDI. And where it says destination right now, it says none. Click on this. And now you see it says do west kit, which is your battery kit. Click that. So now when I hit sound uh, pad number two, it's also triggering battery. Now I'm going to come over here to sound three and do the same thing. You can do this for every pad in the group. Um, note that you can only do it for the group. So now I've got pad three, pad two, pad one. And the reason they're all playing the same sound is because they're all rooted to C3 in keyboard mode. So now over here on sound two, I'm going to come over here to input. And right here where it says audio, click on source. And now you can see all the outputs from battery. You know, uh, number twos through 16, because number output number one is going to be pad one. So I'm just going to make sound two, output two, and sound three, output three. So now I'm going to come back up here to battery. I'm going to open it up. Now, say I want to use that kick, and we'll make sound number two our snare. So say that's the snare you want to use. We'll right click on it, output, direct out to sound two. And then for the third sound, say you want to use uh, this hi-hat right here. You're going to right-click on it, output, direct out, 5 slash 6, or output 3. All right, so now I'm going to go to sound 2. I'm going to put my machine into pad mode and keyboard mode. And I'm going to open up the mixer. So now when I hit sound 2, that snare, there it is right there triggering on sound number two. So let's do a quick uh, one bar loop. I'm just going to do the snares. Now let's go over to pad number one. And I'll just insert the kick. And I'm going to come over here to pad 3, go back into keyboard mode, and I'm going to go into the mixer so when I hit the hi-hat, bam, you can see it pop up. So not only do we have each pad uh, sending its triggering its own MIDI, sending it back to battery, but it's also sending that sound back from battery to each machine channel and which corresponds with the same exact pad
And what's even better is now we can come over here and we can adjust the levels of each. So I'll bring the hat down, bring the snare back up, bring the kick down. In addition to that, I can also control the pan of each instrument, like so. So, in addition to that, you can add any effects you want to any sound. So, say you want your hi-hat to have a reverb on it. We'll come over here to the hi-hat pad, which is pad 3. I'll just drop a plate reverb on it. Bam. Now you can hear that plate reverb on that pad. On that hi-hat. Now since you're only sending MIDI from these pads back to pad 1, they're not going to have a name on them. So you can go ahead and just double click and I can put snare here. Um, and then I'll put, you know, HH for hi-hat here. And so on and so forth. And you can go do that all the way down, all the way down your pads for as many sounds as that you, sounds that you use in battery. Um, lastly, one thing that I do want to point out is say you've got, you know, your whole, your whole track laid out. You know, you've got scene two, scene three, scene four. They all got these patterns in it. And you select all the scenes and you say you're going to bounce this out to your DAW. So you can go to uh, export audio export sound outputs and it'll send the individual sound which is really dope um, that answers your question Stewie and I hope this uh, tip slash tutorial helped a lot of people out there so once again this is James Jackson from machinemasters.com checking out peace